Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be comparing this 2021 Toyota Camry XSE to this 2021 Honda Accord Sport. But I would like to give a special thanks to South Day Toyota for providing with the Toyota Camry. And special thanks to South Motors Honda for providing with the Honda Accord. If you're on the market for either a Toyota or a Honda, you can check out both of these dealerships. But if you guys are looking for a mid-size sedan, in this segment here, the Camry and the Honda Accord are the top sellers in this segment. Toyota managed to move 294,000 units in 2020, while Honda moved 199,000 units in the year 2020. But let's kick off this review underneath the hood of the Toyota Camry here in Honda Accord. Open up the hood here of the Camry. Both of these vehicles use a pop rod instead of hood struts. But let's talk about the powertrain here for the Toyota Camry. The Camry uses a 2.5 liter four cylinder, which makes 206 horsepower and 186 pound feet of torque. And it's hooked up to an eight speed automatic transmission. As the Camry sits, it weighs 3,400 pounds. Fuel economy here for the Camry is rated at 27 in the city, 38 on the highway and 31 combined. And you can also get all wheel drive here on the Toyota Camry. You cannot get all wheel drive here for the Honda Accord. Honda didn't offer that for this refresh of the 10th generation Honda Accord. This powertrain is a 1.5 liter four cylinder. It makes 192 horsepower and 192 pound feet of torque. It's paired with a CVT transmission. As the Honda Accord sits, it weighs in at 3,200 pounds. Fuel economy here for this 1.5 liter four cylinder is rated at 29 in the city, 35 on the highway and 32 combined. So both of these powertrains do make great fuel efficiency here. And both of these companies also have the top selling SUVs in the segment with the Honda CRV and also the Toyota RAV4. And both of these manufacturers also offer hybrid powertrain as well. So if you're looking to get over 40 miles a gallon, Toyota and Honda does offer those hybrid powertrains. But shedding the hood here of both the Honda Accord and the Toyota Camry, let's talk about the exterior styling here. Let's start off with the Toyota Camry here. The Toyota Camry, both of these vehicles got a refresh for 2021. Uh, Toyota gave this a honeycomb style grill. The Toyota emblem houses the Toyota Safety Sense 2.5 plus. So that does come with pre-collision assist. Looking at these headlights here, they're gonna be an LED projector above with an LED daytime running light with an LED turn signal. There's some silver painted trim in the front fascia. I want you guys to tell me in the comment section, what do you guys think about the Toyota Camry? You guys know the Honda Accord is my favorite uh, mid-size sedan in the segment. Honda did tweet the Honda Accord for the 2021 model year. They gave this thing full LED headlights here. Also, they even tweaked the fog light housing down here. The grille is way larger. And looking down here, this is for the Honda Sensing, which includes the same, which is pre-collision assist. I think both of these cars look very handsome, but the Honda Accord will be my pick. But looks can be subjective. I want you guys to comment down below in the comment section tell what you guys think about the Toyota Camry and the Honda Accord. But let's talk about the side profile here of the Toyota Camrys. Taking a look at these tires and wheels here. These are a 235 40 tire. They're wrapped in this 19 inch rim design. I do like this gloss black finish here. Looking here, that's this LED sight mark here on the mirror cap. And up top, Toyota does offer this large panoramic sunroof here. The rule base for the Toyota Camry here is at 111.2 inches with an overall length of 192.7. But making our way over here to the Honda Accord here, let's take a look at these tires and wheels here. These are one of my favorite rim designs here that you can get on the Honda Accord. These are a 235-40. They're wrapped in a 19-inch rim design. I do like the black with the silver finish here. I like the blacked out mirror cap. And Honda doesn't offer a panoramic sunroof. Maybe for the 11th generation of Accord, they might offer that panoramic sunroof. The wheel base here for the Honda Accord is at 111.4 inches with an overall length of 196.1. Of course, the Honda Accord is gonna be the longer car here compared to the Camry, which has an overall length of 192.7 inches. But let's take a look at the rear of both the Toyota Camry and the Honda Accord. Looking at the rear here of both the Toyota Camry and the Honda Accord, let's start off with the Camry here. Looking at these two lights, it's gonna be a full LED with the turn signal, reverse light, and brake light. There's the Toyota emblem with the Camry name spelled out with the XSE badge. Looking over here at the Honda Accord here, Looking at these taillights, they're gonna be an LED combination with an LED brake light with an incandescent turn signal and reverse light. There's the sport badge, the Honda emblem, and the Accord badge. There's also this blacked out rear spoiler here, but open up the cargo here of both the Honda Accord and Toyota Camry. Unfortunately, you have to use the key fob here for the Honda. Just press the trunk release button there. The trunk will open as you guys seen right there. And coming over here to the Camry, 
let's start off here with the Camry's cargo. You get 15.1 cubic feet of space. You can fold the seats down to do a 60-40 split. And underneath here, Toyota does give you a spare tire instead of a fix a flat kit. But shedding the trunk here of the Camry, open up the cargo back here for the Honda Accord. This has the most cargo here in the segment at 16.7 cubic feet of space. And you can fold the seats down to do a 60-40 split. And underneath here, Honda does give you a spare tire instead of a fix a flat kit. But let's hop into the interior here of the Honda Accord and Toyota Camry. Sitting inside the interior of the Toyota Camry XSE, I'm gonna be very brief with both of these interiors because I showed you guys this before. But looking here at this interior, I like the way the Camry's interior looks really, it looks really good and upscale. Toyota now offers a seven inch infotainment system. This is a nine inch display. It does support Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, but shutting the door here of the Toyota Camry, Uh, looking at the door panel material is going to be a soft touch material here with this aluminum door handle the window controls are here is going to be automatic up automatic down for all four windows the high beam switches here there's the traction control also the trunk release and fuel cap opener there's the storage compartment here this is a manual tilt and telescoping wheel the headlight and turn signal stock is there the one wiper stock is right here looking at the steering wheel it does have the driver's assistance which includes adaptive cruise control with four collision warning with lane keep assist your radio presets are here the volume controls are there looking here at the gauge cluster there is these analog gauges with this lcd display front and center unfortunately toyota does not offer a digital gauge cluster here maybe for the next gen of camry they may offer that looking at the upper part of the dashboard here's going to be a soft touch injection molded plastic here looking here as you guys can see this is a nine inch display it does support apple carplay and android auto there's a volume and tune knob here down here is going to be the air vents with the hazard switch. This does have dual climate control. There's a USB port with a 12 volt. There's even a wireless phone charger here. You could turn it on and off if you like. My iPhone 12 Pro Max does fit if it's not connected to the actual USB port there. And Toyota does not offer the wireless Android or Apple CarPlay function. Maybe for the next gen, they might offer that feature. But putting the camera into reverse, it does reveal a backup camera with trajectory and distance markers. It does have real cross traffic alerts, so this vehicle will put the brakes on for you if there's something coming across you or if you're backing up into something. Kicking it down here, over to the left, there's a sport mode here in the transmission. This does have an eight-speed automatic transmission. Your drive mode selectors is here, which is eco, normal, sport, auto hold. There's electronic parking brake. There's three level heated seats here. In order to get the cool seats, you have to go option in the cold weather package in order to get the cool seats. Looking at the key fob here, this is the same key fob which has a lock, unlock, a trunk release, a panic button. You have the camera name spelled out with the Toyota emblem and back of the key. Looking at the glove compartment here, it does offer a decent amount of storage. The seats in here, they're supportive, they're comfortable. And above me, there's this massive panoramic sunroof here to let light into this cabin. It's gonna be LED lights throughout the whole entire cabin here. There's your SOS button up there. You can also open up that panoramic sunroof. But overall, the Camry does have a nice upscale look and this interior does feel very spacious. But let's hop into the Honda Accord. Sitting inside the interior here of the Honda Accord Sport, like I mentioned from the Toyota Camry, I'm gonna be very brief with this interior because I showed you guys this before, but looking at the Accord uh, cabin here, it does have a modern look and this interior does feel very spacious, but shutting the door here of the Honda Accord. Let's start off here with the door panel material. It's gonna be a soft touch material. There's this carbon fiber-like trim here on the door panel. There's this aluminum door handle here. It is automatic up, automatic down, only for the driver and passenger, your window and mirror controls are there. Over here is gonna be the reset trip computer, the Honda sensing the stability control. This is a manual tilt and telescoping wheel. The headlight and turn signal stock is there. The one wiper stock is right here. This does have paddle shifters to cycle through that CVT transmission. Looking here at the steering wheel controls, there's the volume controls with the voice command controls. Over here is for the driver's assistance, which includes adaptive cruise control. Looking at the gauge cluster here, this is an analog gauge here for the speed, but there's this LCD display here on the left-hand side that you can customize via the scroll wheel here. But looking at the upper part of the dashboard, it's gonna be a soft touch ejection mode plastic here on top of the dashboard. But looking here at this eight inch display, it does support Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. You can use the USB port 
or the wireless function there's these knobs here for the volume and two knob the air conditioning vents are there there's the hazard button this does have dual climate control this one is missing heated seats here down here is going to be two usb ports with a 12 volt and my iphone 12 pro max does fit really fine here in this area you can close this off if you would like putting the accord into reverse here it does reveal the backup camera there's different angles here that you can look to see what's behind you kicking it down here into drive there's an econ mode here there's a sport mode an automatic start stop function that you can defeat if you would like there's electronic parking brake a brake hold putting the cord back into park there's two cup holders here the seats in here they're supportive they're comfortable i like the way that these seats look i think they look better than the toyota camry but looking here at the glove compartment it does offer a decent amount of storage also like that it does have this carbon fiber like trim here on the dashboard as well it's going to be a soft touch ejection mode to plastic here. and above me there's no standard sunroof here or a panoramic sunroof because honda does not offer a panoramic sunroof here for the 10th generation of accord and the lighting here is going to be an incandescent there's a sunglass holder here but overall let's hop into the back seat of the toyota camry getting into the back seat here of the toyota camry here and shutting the door the material is going to be a carryover from the front to the rear there's two mat pockets back here for storage there's your own set of rear air vents here there's no charging ports but the floor back here is not flat but you can fit three people across and toyota says you get 38 inches of legroom back here in the back seat of the toyota camry and above me there's this massive panoramic sunroof here to let light into the cabin pulling this armrest down here it does reveal two cup holders but let's hop into the, the back seat of the honda accord getting into the back seat here of the honda accord shutting the door here the materials are going to be a carrier from the front to the rear there's one mat pocket back here for storage there's two usb ports there's a storage area here you can probably put your phone or some items there's no rear air back here the floor back here is not flat but you can fit three people across and honda says you get 40.4 inches of legroom here in the back seat of the accord that's more legroom than that toyota camera which has 38 inches of legroom but putting this armrest down here it does reveal two cup holders. We'll start off in the 2021 Toyota Camry XS. Yeah, I'm going to start off in the Camry first and then I'm going to hop into the interior of the Honda Accord. This has Toyota's 2.5 liter four cylinder. This powertrain makes 206 horsepower and 186 pound feet of torque and it's paired with an eight speed automatic transmission. Unlike that Accord, it has a CVT, but Honda does offer a 10 speed automatic transmission hooked up to a two liter turbo and Toyota does offer a 3.5 liter V6. So if you guys are looking for, for a high powered Camry or a high powered Accord, you have to check out the performance models, which is that two liter and also that 3.5 liter V6, which the 3.5 liter V6 makes 301 horsepower and 267 pound feet of torque, while the Accord makes 252 horsepower and 273 pound feet of torque. And the Accord is gonna be faster than that V6. Um, I drove both of those powertrains. I do like that 2.0 better than that 3.5 liter V6, even though that V6 does have a nicer sound to it. Uh, the seating position here is really good. I have a good commanding view of the road here. The, this does come with Toyota Safety Sense 2.5 Plus, which includes adaptive cruise control, foreclosure warning, lane keep assist with lane departure and active stir assist. So if you're not paying attention, the car will basically tug the wheel left or right to keep you in the lanes, which is really good driver's assistance. Both of these car manufacturers offer really good driver's assistance. And both of them also offer hybrid powertrain. So if you're looking to get over 40 miles to the gallon, the Camry offers a hybrid powertrain and also the Honda Accord offers a hybrid powertrain as well this interior is very modern it does have an upscale look to it it's very spacious in here like i mentioned from the inside scene the steering the steering feel in here does have some weight to it this car is really good for cornering and maneuvering around parking lots i like the steering feel here of the camry but that powertrain is a little bit raspy if you were to put your foot to the floor a little bit but I have no complaints. Both of these cars drive extremely well. I drove the Accord uh, previous before. And I'm always impressed with both of these vehicles. Uh, Toyota managed to sell 294,000 units in 2020, even with the pandemic going on. That's very impressive. And Honda managed to sell 100 and 199,000 units, which is impressive as well. Like I mentioned, even with the pandemic going on, they, these car manufacturers still end up selling a lot of units during the pandemic, which is very impressive. But this segment here for the midsize sedan is slowly dying every single year. And if you guys are looking for an SUV, Toyota and Honda does make, make SUVs just in case you do not want a sedan anymore. 
but both of these cars have large back seats, large cargo space, great handling, and also great driver's assistance as well. But let's hop into the interior of the Honda Accord. So starting off in the 2021 Honda Accord Sport here, this has Honda's 1.5 liter turbocharged four cylinder here. This makes 192 horsepower and 192 pound feet of torque. This is paired with a CVT transmission. If you're looking to get a 10 speed automatic transmission, Honda does offer that, but you have, you have to go for the two liter instead of this 1.5 liter. And Honda does offer a hybrid powertrain that gets over 40 miles to the gallon. So if you don't want this 1.5, or that 2.0 engine, you have to go for the hybrid powertrain to get that 40 miles to the gallon and over, over 40 miles to the gallon. But the ride quality here is really good. It's firm, it's never harsh. You have the perfect balance between a sports sedan and a practical family sedan. So this car does have the best of both worlds. The steering feel is very playful, but the car does stay very planted here. Great visibility, it does have Honda sensing, which includes adaptive cruise control with blind spot monitoring, lane keep assist, also with four collision warning. So Honda does keep you and your family safe on long road trips here. I do have the car in its sport mode here. And keep in mind the Accord only offers, only comes as front wheel drive. So if you put your foot to the floor, of course you guys will hear that CVT. If you guys don't wanna hear that CVT, like I mentioned, Honda does offer a 10 speed automatic transmission. That tra that 10 speed is very responsive and very snappy. The seats in here, they're supportive, they're comfortable. I'm, su I'm surprised to see that Honda doesn't offer uh, three level heated seats on this sport model. You have to go for another trim in order to get the three level heated and cool seats. But compared to the Camry, this will basically be the best uh, driving sedan in my honest opinion. I like the way that this car handles. It gets up to speed really fine. The powertrain is very peppy. Uh, I actually drove the two liter in the hybrid powertrain. I think the two liter would be the best option if you're looking to get a car that, that gets up and go very quickly. Uh, that 2.0 is very fast paired with that 10 speed automatic transmission. But the Accord here is a really good family sedan and like I mentioned Honda only sold 199,000 units uh, last year compared to the Camry which sold 294,000 units but I want you guys to comment down below in the comment section and tell me what do you guys see most in your area my honest opinion I see more Accords compared to Camry so I'm trying to figure out how does uh, Toyota sell way more units than uh, Honda but this cabin is very quiet. You have the most leg room and the most cargo space in the segment. You have 40.4 inches of leg room in the back seat. And you get 16.7 feet of space in the trunk area. So I think the, the Accord would be the best family sedan in my opinion. Starting price here for the Camry XSE here is at $32,000. $835 with the options and accessories, including destination, the Camry stickers for $38,702. Starting price here for the Honda Accord here is at $27,430 with the options and accessories, including destination, the Accord stickers for $29,815. Hope you guys have enjoyed this comparison. Be sure to follow me on Instagram at Drive One Reviews and hit that subscribe button. And I'll see you all in the next video.